Hey Gecko fans, this is Wally with Supreme Gecko. It's Cave Gecko Feeding Day, but that's not why you're here. You're here to find out what my number one tool in the whole facility is. And this is going to be interesting. This will save you a bunch of money. This will save you a bunch of time. Join me. I tell you what, I have waited a long time to do this video. I wanted to, it to be just perfect, but I tell you what, we're going to do this. I'm going to show some great tips, especially at the end of this video, and I think that you're going to get a lot out of this. But you know me, I have to multitask, so let me get to these cave geckos, let me feed them, and let's talk about diet dishes. I've already started our breeding sessions with these cave geckos. I have a male with two females in each one of these containers. The males will stay for probably about a week or two. But I need to feed them in here and I need to water them. But I digress once again. Let's talk about crested geckos. There are tons and tons and tons of videos out there. In fact, Flawless Crested Geckos just did a video on this recently showing different types of dishes. And that spurred me to finally get this video done. Everybody knows about the contact lens cases. You can use those for crested gecko diet. Pour the diet into the, the little cups. Present them to the crested geckos. Everybody knows about condiment cups as well. You can get these very inexpensively online. You can get a couple if you go down to your fast food restaurant and grab a couple. Don't steal a pack of them. There's metal dishes, there's plastic dishes, there's all types of dishes. There's hanging dishes, there's dishes that you can put right on the ground, right on the floor of the Crested Gecko enclosure, and that's what I do. That makes it as easy as possible for them to find. Now these diet dishes, and I'm going to show you in just a second, so hold on. These diet dishes I use for Crested Gecko adults, I use it for Crested Gecko babies, I use it for gargoyles, I use them for Periodora picked. I use them for leopard geckos, I use them for just about every gecko that I have in this facility. So why do I use these dishes? Well, number one, they're very inexpensive. I'll actually put a link in the description down below where you can get one or two or ten. If you want a bunch of them, there's plenty of stores online that you can get sleeves of these 50 100 at a time but most importantly they don't tip over they're very flat it's very very difficult for a gecko to tip this dish over they're really super easy to use i just stack them on a table i fill them up easily and on i go to putting them into the crested gecko enclosures and i tell you what there is something to be said about consistency using the same dish in all of our crested gecko and gargoyles and other gecko enclosures. You want another reason? Here it is. They are super, super easy to clean. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second, but let's go ahead and talk about using these to feed geckos. So I'll tell you gecko fans, these are great dishes if you have one or two or five animals and you have to feed five different enclosures. But if you have hundreds of enclosures, and I don't even know how many we're feeding now, every other day, one of the most important things that you can do is keep everything consistent, and these dishes are perfect for that. I'm going to go ahead and put up the number right here of how many dishes we're putting out, how many enclosures we're feeding every other day, but I tell you, it's a lot, and it takes us about 45 minutes. That includes putting out the dishes, mixing up the diet, pouring the diet, putting the cups in, taking the cups out, 45 minutes. That might sound like a lot of time to you, but look at the number of enclosures that we're doing. I mentioned before, but these are perfect for adults and they're perfect for babies. We start all of our babies with these Crested Gecko Diets dishes. They can walk right up to the dish and they can eat right from this very squat dish. Now, sometimes one of the problems is that they'll walk into the, the dish and then there's little footprints all over the enclosure. Now, we're misting our babies and adults, but for some other geckos, we might not mist as much, like period or a picta, so we'll put the food dish in. We'll put a water dish in there as well. Now again, that diet dish is so low that with the water, they can just jump right into the water. We use those diet dishes as well for feeder cups for mealworms. Because they're so low, they can jump right in there and start eating the mealworms. We put a little bit of supplements, calcium and vitamins in there, 
perfect. Oh, by the way, we use these for leopard geckos as well. Absolutely perfect dish for leopard geckos. Here's something really cool that we do. If we fed one day crested gecko diet and we're feeding the next day with mealworms or some other insect, I'll go ahead and put the insects right in those diet dishes. A lot of times the mealworms will stay right in those diet dishes and they won't go anywhere. I think they're actually eating the uneaten diet out of those dishes. Hey, you want to know a couple of other uses we have for these diet dishes? We use them for dubias. The dubias can climb right over the tops of these dishes and get to their food. And occasionally, I've used these dishes in isopod enclosures as well. Now, I mentioned before, one of the reasons we love, love, love these dishes is because of their consistency, their size, they stack so well. Once we're done pulling the food, the empty diet dishes out of the gecko enclosures, we stack them up, we put them in a short container, a little six quart, four quart container. We fill it with water, we let it sit for a day. After that day, we'll come back and we'll spray that whole dish with more water to get some of the loose diet off of the dishes. Then we'll come back and we'll drain all of that water off of the dishes. We'll stack them up, let them dry out, right back into a holder that we have for these diet dishes that work out perfectly well for their size and they're ready for the next feeding. After every one of these videos, I realize there's three or four other things that I miss putting into the videos. I'm sure there's other uses that we have for these diet dishes stacking. So we'll put rocks on top of the diet dishes to bring the rocks off the ground so some of the geckos can get underneath the rocks. There's so many uses of these diet dishes. But like I said, the main uses of these diet dishes are feeding crusted geckos, the crusted gecko diet, feeding mealworms, using them as water dishes, and feeding isopods and dubias. I know, I know, I promised you a tip at the end, and here it is. If you take your diet dishes, your crusted gecko diet dishes, that still has food on them, put them in your mealworms. Put them in any feeder insects that you have. Mealworms especially love crusted gecko diet, and they'll eat everything off the dishes. Two things. You're gut loading your mealworms, you're cleaning your dishes. I'm lazy, clean your dishes with the mealworms. We throw them in the sink anyways after the mealworms finish with them. It works out perfect. Check this out how much they eat off these dishes. As well, if I've taken a deli cup full of mealworms out of my main bins and I'm feeding the geckos, I'm done feeding the geckos, I still have some mealworms in there, I'll take a crusted gecko diet cut dish, put it right on top, that's good for a day, keeps them gut loaded. Great tips. Now you saw me feeding mealworms to baby crusted geckos. I'm a big believer in that. Here's a video you can watch on how we feel that we can get our baby crusted geckos up to size quicker and healthier. Yeah, I want to thank everybody for watching this. I hope you got some helpful hints out of this video. We'll see you next week. Well, that went pretty well. I guess I didn't multitask by feeding these cave geckos. I, I've got to get to that now. So let me go ahead and feed these cave geckos and let's talk 